So particularly in high-tech organizations, um, marketing has changed dramatically over even the last five years um, because the amount of information that's available um, Yep, frankly, as we all browse around on the internet and the information that's, that's captured as we do that, um, the dynamic has really changed about how you educate folks about your products. You used to draw them to live events. You used to draw them around a campfire to talk to them about your product. Now the vast majority of um, the education that a prospect does about your, uh, your product is done on their own time. It's done through natural search, right? It's done online, it's done on their schedule. And so it's really important to find the opportunities when you can engage folks that are looking for the sort of solution that you offer, right? And that you maintain then a relationship with them and that you nurture them. And so marketing, uh, which used to be sort of, uh, you know, advertising and you don't know which half you're wasting there, right? And uh, the trade shows to draw people in and then sending emails to folks has now become very much about a relationship, an ongoing relationship with your prospects and then a relationship with your customers so they can help you, you know, communicate with your next prospects. And so um, both the technologies that are in place in terms of marketing automation systems, um, the dynamic of how people um, uh, interact with a, with a brand as they're training at the, or they're educating themselves about you, frankly, um, uh, has really changed the game. I mean, and I love it. As a recovering mechanical engineer, Cornell, 86. Uh, I'm all about the numbers because now the marketing organization can look at each metric of, of each, you know, inter interaction that you've had with a prospect, uh, how many moved a step forward, how many uh, opted out of that conversation, right? And so the marketing organization, the marketing leader really becomes the future revenue officer, right? You know right away if you, if marketing sneezes, the business gets a cold in just a month or two, because we know uh, through the funnel of all the interactions that we're having with prospects and the rate at which they flow through to have uh, become business opportunities for us to talk to and hopefully you know, uh, bring people on as customers, we know if, uh, if the metrics are soft that we're gonna see a softening of metrics farther down that pipeline as well. And so it makes marketing more strategic, which is a lot more fun for guys like me. Uh, it makes it um, much more measurable uh, and so it makes us more accountable. Right? It's not just the folks that make things you know, pretty and sound good, right? It really is the heart, that, that, that funnel before the funnel, the heart of the business and growing the business. And so marketing's changed a lot both in the tools that we've used, the platforms that we have you know, to track ourselves, but also that dynamic of um, you know, engaging uh, with the folks that have the challenges that we can help them solve, uh, educating them about how we can solve that for them and you know, bringing them into the fold.